I don't have no reason as to why she did this, but continue on. So. Don't I feel nice? Why should it end? Baby, I could have been. I could have been him or the girlfriend. Just it wouldn't win. Where to make a trip? Baby, make a wish. Be the one I wish. Should have been. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So, y'all saw the title. Um. I'm about to tell y'all another story time or whatever about this girl that I met in hair school. And I just want to let y'all know that, excuse me, I went to hair school twice um, and I didn't complete neither one of them. It was just like, I went the second time because I was trying to see if like, maybe I could finish, maybe, you know, I could make this a career, but I wasn't feeling it both times. So I just um never completed hair school uh, i never like took like the ending test or anything i never graduated um i ended up just dropping out or whatever but the second time i went to school i was up in the school at um in montgomery county uh, i'm gonna name the girl i'm gonna name this girl mary me and mary met in beauty school and we became cool like right off the bat like she was one of the first people that like i was just cool with we never hung out outside of beauty school she was cool as fuck to me like she never seen like she never like had no attitude with me about not that we never had no disagreements or anything like she was cool i was feeling her like as far as like i felt like yes yeah, okay she could be a potential friend um and she just was, you know, she she just was cool. But I noticed how she was like a troublemaker. Like, not with me, though. But she was a troublemaker. Not with me, yet. She was just a troublemaker, like, throughout the school. It's like she was childish as fuck. And it was like, there were young people there. There were older people there. But, like, at this point, I'm in my early 20s or whatever. So... There was young people there, old people there, but she was around my age and she acted childish as fuck. Like, for example, this one time it was a girl, uh, I'm gonna name her Lisa or whatever. This other classmate named Lisa. Um, you know how like you got an assigned seat, but you really don't have an assigned seat. Like the seat don't technically belong to your ass, but you know how like you in a class and you see the same people all the time everybody ends up sitting in like their own preferred seat you know what i'm saying and like it stay that way and when it switches up it's like for what like why you why you can't sit in the seat you've been sitting in for three or four weeks you know what i'm saying like so this one particular day and i don't know if they had some beef i don't know if mary and lisa had some type of beef that i didn't know about they just didn't like i didn't know what was going on with that but when i came in first not before everybody but before lisa and mary came in mary comes in and sits down in lisa's seat like mary has a seat that she normally sits in and it's close to me so it's like she sat furthest away from me into a whole nother seat and it was lisa's seat so lisa come in like immediately like she was irritated like she like she didn't say anything at first but she you could just tell i was waiting for her to come in because i'm like okay it's gonna be a fucking problem why the fuck is mary stirring up shit like i automatically was like why is she stirring up shit mind y'all it was situations before this that made me see with my own two eyes that she was a troublemaker but i just want to let y'all know this example so lisa finally say she was like um you don't want to sit in your your seat today and she was like what seat she was like all these seats um belong to the school that's it that's what she said so automatically okay bitch you beefing like what is you beefing for so lisa like i don't she was like that's true but i always sit here like i really like sitting here so i don't get why you sitting right here so she was like like i said these seats don't belong to us they belong to the school you can sit anywhere you want to in here she's like i just prefer to sit here today and I'm like, this bitch starting shit. Like, she's fucking troublemaking. And the fact that I'm hanging with her, I just felt like, over time, I was just like, I ain't feeling this girl. Like, it was just like little shit she would do. Like, like for, I don't know if she wanted attention or what. So, one day, I just, I don't know. Like, I just came to school and I started to, like, distance myself from her for real. Like, we still was cool. But I started distancing myself because it was just... She was like, I want to say flunking for real. Like, she was not doing good in high school neither. It was almost like she was just there 
on some high school shit for real so i started noticing that even though we were cool i started noticing that and one day we went like for lunch together we most of the times we went and got lunch together and then came back to the school but um we went to get lunch together and she was like um she's like what's up with you whatever i said what what you mean she was like i don't know you just not you don't talk to me as much no more or you kind of seem distant and i was like i told her straight up at first i was hesitant i ain't want to say but then i was just like fuck it like what the fuck tell her what the fuck she got going on she need to know i was like you um you like stirring up trouble don't you and she was like no i don't and i was like if that's what it seemed like because it's like you got into it with this person this person this person it's like do you even want to be here at school because i'm trying to focus and i'm trying to like like finish this shit like hair school for me was hard y'all it was really the physiology and anatomy shit that i just couldn't like i'm always good with my hands like i can do a lot and um that's why i went to a, um, i went to a few different trade schools and stuff but i could do a lot with my hands like i'm good with like doing stuff with my hands but as far as like um the instructional part of things and like the tests and stuff like that i wasn't doing my best um and i also had just stuff on my mind like i was living in a shelter like it was shit going on in there i had a child this is when my son was first first born i tried to go back to school he was like months old i tried to go back to school or whatever for i only i went back for like four months or something and i dropped out or whatever i didn't even i like i like did the grace period basically and then this dropped out i just realized like okay like I can't focus on this maybe it's just because it's something i really just don't care for like um but anyway i did you know like doing hair just like after that but over time it just fell off like i just realized that's not for me it wasn't for me but anyway so but at that moment i'm telling her like yeah i'm trying to focus or whatever and you just seem like you just like drama like you starting drama and I'm just not with that. That's all. I was just like, after the other day with the Lisa situation, when she was, she sat in Lisa's seat and they going back and forth and shit. And she stayed in that seat. That's the thing. She stayed in that motherfucking seat. Like, I said, do you, are y'all beefing? She said, I just don't like that bitch. And I'm just like, okay, see, like, I don't, I'm just not on that. That's all. That's why I was just kind of distant or whatever. So, she i thought everything was cool as far like i didn't say oh i didn't want to be friends with you anymore it was just more so like let i'm just trying to focus more because before it's like i feel like she was throwing me off my focus too you know what i mean like because she really was about like that drama shit like like the stuff she would tell me and i was entertaining it at some point like i was entertaining it, but i was just like she throwing me off like she throwing me off for real and um so after that she became distant like after that conversation she became distant and she was just like i guess she was just like well shit she ain't fucking with me i ain't gonna fuck with her neither so we barely talk like anymore we didn't sit by each other no more we just barely talk i'm pretty sure people noticed this shit but we just barely talked or whatever and this one particular day i was rushing home because i went to night school this was night school i try to do nights but and nights just it was just for like three hours but nights was from like six i think it was like six to nine i want to say it was like six to nine but the place that i stayed at they closed their doors at a certain time so every day that i left school like monday through friday every day i left school like i was rushing home you know what I'm saying? i had to catch the bus stuff. i was rushing home just so i could make the fucking curfew they gave me the curfew was nine o'clock but because i was in school they understood and they gave me like a grace period or whatever but if i ain't make the grace period i'm locked out so um this one particular day i was leaving class late because i was finishing like we had like a project or something i was trying to finish it before i left so I ain't leave at my normal time. So I'm rushing out of there. I get on the bus and realize I left my hair kit bag or whatever. So I leave the, the bag. The bag. The first person I called was Mary. Because Mary was like the only number that I had, honestly. I talked to other people in that class, but I only had her number because like we hit it off for real. Like not like that, but you know what I mean? Like we was clicking at first. So because we stopped clicking. 
it's not like I deleted her number or anything. Like we did speak for certain stuff, but it was only like school stuff, school related stuff. Other than that, like we barely talked to each other about nothing. It was no like social shit going on with us. So, but I called her and I was like, do you see my hair bagging? Cause I know she still was there. She didn't leave right away. I just was hoping once I got on the bus, like I caught the bus right when it was coming. Like as soon as I left, I was like running to the bus stop type shit. And I get on the bus, I call Mary, and I'm like, do you see my bag? And she was like, oh, yeah, I see your bag. I was like, can you, like, take it with you? Because people be taking shit stealing or whatever. I'm like, can you take it with you, and I'll just bring it back on Monday? This was a Friday. I was like, just bring it back on Monday for me. Like, you can keep it in your car or whatever, but just can you hold on to it for me? She said, yeah. She was like, yeah, I'll hold on to it. So I'm like, back, cool, thank you. Like, so... I'm thinking she got the bag the whole weekend, but we ain't really talking. You know what I'm saying? We ain't texting each other or calling each other like we used to or whatever. We just wasn't feeling each other no more. So, um, and I shouldn't have trusted her with my bag, but it was like, it was either get off the bus and get the bag or be kicked out. And when I was kicked out, they didn't give a fuck. Um, I had somebody watch it. Like it, it was just a lot going on. Like, if I was kicked out, I would have been sleeping on the street. Like, I had to do that. I had to do that before. So, I just didn't want to even, like... It was just a bad time in my life, honestly. But, um... And I was trying so hard to, like, just get a career or something. So, I won't... So, I could get out of this situation. Like, I was just trying to finish school. But, God... God had other plans for me. Like, that didn't work out. Um... So, Monday come... I get in there, I'm expecting my bag. Cause mind y'all, these kits was not cheap. Like I had to pay, you had to pay for your own, your kit and um, your books and stuff. My hair kit was a lot, it was like mannequins, a whole big bag, like a whole suitcase full of shit. And you need your stuff for class. Like it was no way of work, like working. They would get on you for, if I have to borrow like their stuff or whatever they i gotta hit somebody mouth about it or whatever and they all they made it clear like you need your kid every day for class because we was working on it every day working on like some type of hairstyle or something so you needed your shit so me not having my shit i'm just like whatever but i ain't think i wasn't gonna have my shit monday i come in she not there I'm thinking she gonna be late. I text her. I hit her up like you coming. She ain't. She didn't respond to me or nothing. She didn't come in that day at all. I couldn't get a hold to her. So Tuesday come. Mind you, I had to borrow stuff from the school. So of course they saying something like, "Well, if you lost your kit, you had to buy a new one." I couldn't afford to buy a new one at that time. I just couldn't. So I wanted my shit or whatever. So kept calling her. I kept calling her, texting her, calling. She was not responding to me. I'm just like. What the fuck? Like, why should I answer the phone? Like, she got my shit. It's not in the school neither. Like, I try to look and just see if, like, maybe she left it in the school. Which I should have just left it in the school. I don't know why I told her. I just didn't want, like, I don't know who was going to come in and out from classrooms. And they might take my stuff. I just felt like, you know, it's somebody I know, at least they'll have it. You feel me? They got to come to class anyway. That's what I expected. This bitch completely dropped out. She completely dropped out of school. Mary was just like, F school. I don't know if it was because of that or she just already was planning on leaving and she just wanted to get back at me. I don't have no reason as to why she did this, but continue on. So let me continue on. So by Thursday, what I ended up doing when I came to school and I noticed she wasn't at school, mind you, I had talked to the instructors about this. Like, I was just like, I, let, I told her to hold my bag. She got my bag, but she not answering a call or whatever. I ended up getting somebody else to call her and she answered the phone so i said mary she like yeah i might i'm trying to call you and touch and get in touch with you or whatever like i need my bag like i don't know if you like why you're not coming to school are you good and she was like yeah i'm straight i was like i need my stuff she's like i don't have your stuff i like you don't have my stuff it's not in the school so where is it where you put it at because i called you remember she's like yeah i had left it in the classroom i said are you coming back to school she was like no nah, i don't think i'm coming back so i said my stuff is not in the classroom we looked for it like i looked for it so either you took my stuff or you let somebody take my stuff right not just like putting it on her because for real it's my fault that i fucking left it you feel me rushing it's my fault that i left it but like 
why is she doing this to me like it, it pissed me off so bad i'm like why are you even doing that like if you have my stuff give me my stuff she said i told you i don't have your stuff don't be calling my phone ask about your stuff she said you should have like she was a firecracker y'all she's like you should have kept up with your stuff that's your stuff i'm not gonna be held responsible for your stuff i left it in the school and that's that and hung up on me i was heated i'm like this bitch i cannot believe she stole my stuff. So, I'm in the school still. I said, y'all need to pull up the cameras because I need to know if she really did leave my stuff and somebody took it or what the case is, right? I'm just like, please, let me see. the. You know, I had to beg them for real because at first they were just like, well, it's not in the classroom. I'm like, I need to see the camera. So, they pulled it up. They pulled it up. She did take my stuff. So, I said, okay, so what am I going to do about the situation? Because I'm not buying another kid like i'm end up dropping out myself if that's the case like I, i'm not buying another kit so what should i do about the situation it was like man the only way to get your stuff if she's not coming back is to call the police i said okay bet i'm gonna call the police because i want my shit because they wasn't going to give me the thing is i was asked i was irate with the my, with like the instructors and stuff like the people the administrator that's what it was administrator of the school and stuff because i'm like I need her address. Like, I'm, re I'm ready to go to this bitch house to get my shit. I know she got my stuff. And when I saw the cam, when I saw her on the camera, that she took my stuff out of the, she took it with her when she left out. I'm like, this bitch got my stuff. I don't know what she did with it. I don't know what's going on, but she got my stuff. So they wouldn't give me her address. They they went and uh, said I have to call the police. So I called the police. The police came. I explained what went down. I was like, she stole my stuff. It's on camera and I need my stuff. This is my property. It's my stuff. I want to get my stuff back. So they were just like, what we can do is go to the address and, um, you know, just ask for it. But they can't do no nothing further than that. Like they can't bum rush in her house. If she says she don't have it, then she don't have it. I'm like, that's crazy. She, she got it. What do you mean? She got it. But they was just like, well, did she say she have it? I said, no, she keeps saying that she left it at school. Now, I don't know if she left it outside. Like, she didn't leave it outside. The only thing they let me look at on the camera was the classroom. She took it out the classroom. So I'm not sure if she left it in the building or what. Like, they just, it, it's just, I hate calling the cops for certain shit. Because this happened to me before, and I told y'all about it when, um... They did fire the they did fire the dude that uh, stole my news and stuff out of my phone from Verizon. Uh, I told y'all about that story time, and I went to the police station and they played with me. They acted like, "Oh, it's my fault." Like that's exactly what happened with this situation. Like they they put the blame all on me, which and I understood that. I really did. I understood that, but I was just like, "So there's no way of me getting my stuff." that's what you're saying basically like basically like i'm not getting my shit back so i had to take an l like i had to take it they wouldn't let me like they wouldn't give me the address they gave it to the cop they didn't give me the address they didn't let me because they didn't want it to be no like issue like if i go over there i'm going to fight her like and that's exactly what the fuck i don't know where she lived i never knew where she lived she don't know where i live she didn't know where i live or whatever so it was just like I had to take an L and the only reason I could come up with is the fact that I didn't want to continue to be cool with her like we wasn't like we was like associates you know what I'm saying I didn't see her as like all oh, my deep like a like a friend I wasn't telling her my business like that my deepest deepest stuff I was going through a lot of shit around that time nobody knew they didn't know where I lived they didn't know where I was coming from every day and how I had to struggle catching two buses a train all that to get home and they, they ain't know about they ain't know about none of that so it, it just was a time in my life even with that situation like i was just like okay i'm not coming back like a little while after that i stopped coming to school because it frustrated me so much i couldn't get it i still was borrowing people's stuff um and it was more so of like i can borrow these things but i have to leave it in the school type shit because i told him i can't afford a new kid that girl never came back mary never came back um like maybe like a month i stayed a little like a month after that i ended up dropping out so 
yeah that's the end of the story time people are crazy people will do you fucked up and i've realized as i'm older even with telling stories like this that i kind of now that i'm older and me like not having friends like that now i just kind of felt like i kind of feel like the stuff that was like people that people did to me in the past that they wrongfully did in the past I kind of like grew up and just like I just don't trust people now you know what I mean like I have deep trust like trust issues with people because um because I have been done wrong you know what I mean but anyway I, I don't know why <laughs> I don't want to get deep with y'all like that but it's just like just me thinking about this shit like motherfuckers really was doing me dirty back then back like like me growing up you know what I mean like I just been I just feel I, I know where I came from type shit like that's all like I know where I came from and why I'm the way that I am with when it comes to meeting new people when it comes to having friends when it comes to like relationships or any type of relationship when it comes to like me being a mom when it comes to everything like everything that I do like I be understanding like okay this is why I'm like this now this is why I'm like you know staying off a little like to myself a lot because You can't trust people out here. But anyway, if y'all enjoyed this story time, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see y'all in my next one.